Free kids, no place to go, no place to be. Now look at us, a pair of pensive playmates past their prime. <laughs> ah, maturity. Ah, ripple dissolve. Seems like just yesterday we were a pair of tree house toddlers, eh, Mo? Yo, Maurice! Trade you my comic for a coconut! <laughs> Maurice! Don't you know you're not supposed to move your lips when you read? <laughs> hey! Nice clubhouse! Got any comics? Sure! Yo, Maurice! Bring down the comics! Maurice? What kind of sissy name is Maurice? That's what I like about Maurice. He always makes such a big first impression. You know, at first, I didn't think I was gonna like this guy. <laughs> don't, don't push too hard. Maurice is afraid of heights. Me? Push too hard? Never! <laughs> <laughs> What a cool comic collection! Whoa! I think we broke the barrier of sound. I think Normie broke his little toe. No fair, Maurice. Where am I gonna sit? Oh, not to worry. I wouldn't want you to miss out on this ride. Cause it's your last! Yeah. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, I could read comics all day. That is, if I could read. Uh-oh, if that's who I think it is, I'm gonna scream. Pilot and Navigator, three at six o'clock. Bedtime at seven. Oh, boy. This is so much fun, I never want to grow up. Good. Guess what I get through with you. You are gonna... Uh-oh. So long, Pallies! <laughs> Time for a little inventive tail play. <laughs> no, no, go back, go back! No, no, no! <laughs> Oh well, at least I didn't end up under Mo Reese. Guess again, Mr. Big Beefy Bully Boy. Guess he must have heard his mommy call it. <laughs> ah, those were the good old days, huh, Maurice? You're still a big baby to me. 